cancer, diabetes, obesity, hypertension and asthma are all examples of non-communicable diseases and sadly these diseases are the leading cause of death globally. But do they really affect us here in Africa and are Africans really living with these diseases? Find out here at the African NCD Champions Podcast as we share incredible stories of Africans living with non-communicable diseases. My name is Ogweno Steven and I'll be your host. Let's roll! Alright, thank you very much for agreeing to come today, Dr. Again, um, yeah. this is the second time we are hosting you on a podcast. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, so today we're speaking um, something different, NCDs and COVID-19. And especially for you, what is experience as a, as a doctor, uh, taking care of uh, people living with uh, NCD and COVID-19, and even also taking care of uh, stroke patients who are living with NCDs and COVID-19. So without further ado, and before we get into the details, give us a brief introduction. Uh, give us an introduction to yourself and what you do. Not a brief introduction, give us a, a detailed introduction. <laughs> we, we are used to a, s- mm-hmm. a small introduction. Yes. My name is Asungu Jafet. Uh, I work in one of the leading referral hostels, that's KNH. Mm-hmm. And uh, by profession, I'm an occupational therapist. And uh, I've done very uh, with many hats. Mm. And also, I'm um, special in driver assessments and real program. In this, mm-hmm. I serve the whole country in that. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, I work with stroke and, and hypertension, association of Kenya. And uh, yeah, I, I've been working with COVID patients mm-hmm. in the hostel. I work with non-communicable diseases patients and clients. Mm-hmm. So those are things I, I do for, mm-hmm. this, uh, for the hostel and this country. Mm-hmm. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. And we're going to jump into a bit of all of that. Yeah. So I guess the first question is, uh, what was the experience during COVID-19 as a doctor? Mm-hmm. Uh, what has the experience been with uh, with the various categories of patients, those living with NCDs, those not living with NCDs, what was the experience like? You know, when COVID came in, in uh, March 2020 in this country, we had heard much about it outside there, mm-hmm. mostly in the developed countries. And uh, what we are seeing in our media, it was scary. Mm-hmm. So when the first case came in this country, it was breaking news, but you know, not good breaking news. Mm-hmm. It was bad breaking news to mm-hmm. everybody. And uh, this is a new infection. It has just come in. None was aware of it. None was aware of even the management. Mm-hmm. So in the hostel setting, the medical practitioners were equally worried as the public, the media, everybody. So it had a lot of impact on political, economic, and social. Mm-hmm. Now. Every skin, or you look at the TV, it was about just breaking, breaking. We have a case, it's caring, everybody now came up with many things to happen. Mm. Politically, economically, socially, it affected everybody. Mm-hmm. Now, now come to non-communicable diseases. But before I mention something about the non-communicable diseases, mm-hmm. the, the COVID, is, we, we, we were talking about now, it's coming, it's a, it's a serious disease, people are killing. Uh, people are being killed, you know, they are dying from more, more high numbers in thousands in developed countries and in Africa, more so in Kenya, we are like, now if it comes to Kenya, mm-hmm. it will be more worse. Mm. We are more worried that it, many people now will be like, and the, 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 the media was like, now guys, if you don't take care of it, we'll be being picked from the streets, you know, mm-hmm. in thousands, because this is a poor country, mm-hmm. we cannot manage to accommodate this and all those things. Now. Why come now to the non-communicable diseases patients and clients is like now is another blow to them. Mm-hmm. Because the information was that if you have this condition, you have any underlying condition, you are the first one to die. Yeah. So that scare, it put every, everybody in disarray again. Mm. And most of people living in the non-communicable diseases. So the, the, as an institution, as an institution, as a government, everybody is trying to see what can we do. We are learning every day, many things to be done every, every day. We are talking about uh, supplies. We are talking about uh, 
PPs, we are talking mm -hmm. about people giving information, we are talking about the do's and the don'ts, so everything jungle too. Mm -hmm. And so none was sure. Information. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when the case was mentioned, that I know it was a big thing. Now, in the hostel, there's preparation to be done. But my queue, the clinics run normally. Mm -hmm. People are coming for normal follow-ups. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about NCDs, it means these are people with long-term the only conditions. conditions and the treatment is long term mm -hmm. and we are talking about the supply the drugs is every day mm -hmm. we are talking about medical reviews is every, mm -hmm. frequently now we have got another condition again is carrying these ones again mm -hmm. so everybody like you need to prepare as a hostel but the preparation is linked now to the only covid 19 mm -hmm. so it took toll to any other condition, condition not even accidents not even so it was about every hostel was talking about covid 19 mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about COVID, where, what of the diabetic patients? What do you? What of the hypertensives? What of these patients who are going cancer? Mm -hmm. When you are talking about people who are going dialysis, mm -hmm. what are you talking about people who have mental issues? What are you talking about? You can name them, and the mm -hmm. list goes. Now, it means now COVID has taken over everything. number one everything. So it means these are clinics were closed down. Mm -hmm. Initial no clinics were running, and then you are like just talking about COVID, COVID, COVID. Mm -hmm. So it means this patient, where are they going? and they are told lock yourself in the house mm -hmm. if you get a house you have diabetes and you are seen out like covid was looking for such people mm -hmm. if you get out that will be first one to go if mm -hmm. so it means everybody people with non-communicable diseases the first thing you lock yourself mm -hmm. we want only to try to see what we can do about the covid because that's as more scaring than any other mm -hmm. now when they get in the house means how are they going to get their reviews? How are you going to review their drugs? How are you going to look about their rehabilitation programs? How are you going to look about their mental? And it brought a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. And the moment they miss this, it means now that the, the, the conditions keep on, they are worsening. Mm -hmm. Because they have missed their drugs, they have missed their reviews, they have missed their follow-up, they have missed their specialists mm -hmm. to see them. It means now the conditions get now to worse. Mm -hmm. And for example, just talk about diabetes, it means now people go complicate, you end up amputations. Mm -hmm. If you talk about kidney issues, talk about dialysis, people die. So we have not got to the level to understand the effect of COVID-19 mm -hmm. and how many people died, how many survived, and what, what are the state of them, and what is it now. Mm -hmm. We don't have that much of the information. That, that is still not available. <laughs> not even, yeah, to talk about it, exactly. We still have surface level yes. data yes. Mm, of what happened. But we know they got worse. Mm. Some just missed the clinic. Some maybe died. Mm -hmm. So the mortality went up. Yeah. The severity of the condition went up. Mm -hmm. That's what we had. Yeah. Yes. Interestingly, so I guess the other question that now I need to ask yeah. is, um, Having, having seen this at the hospitals, mm. uh, what are the patients looking like, especially, uh, say, patients living with various entities when they presented to the, to the hospital, for example? What was the experience? Um, was there eventually ways to give services to them that were non-COVID related? And uh, how was that looking like? You see, the, the, the media done a lot of public information that if you have non-communicable disease, it means you should run away from people got scared of going to the hostels mm. so they were just in the house mm -hmm. and the reason being that if you hear something like the knh you hear something mm -hmm. like whichever facility mm -hmm. you don't want to get there mm -hmm. because the more get is like you're going to pick the COVID. Mm. so basically it was now a tricky it was slightly now trick to tell people now come back yeah. the clinics are running uh -huh. so that brought about the gap Mm -hmm. Whereby the hostels were trying now to teach, tell people, Bana, we are, we are ready for you. We are ready for you. Come, COVID is not like you know. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of. There's a lot of now information now to demystify the, what is what is the media. Mm -hmm. But the problem now, you look at the media is that people are dying thousands mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. We didn't make to that thousands mm -hmm. here, and uh, God, there's a way God. I mean, works with this, <laughs> protected us because <laughs> the number you are seeing there is not the number you are mm -hmm. seeing here. Mm -hmm. But people got scared of coming to hostels. If talk about if you we used to visit and tell somebody about I work in KNH, people like get scared. KNH, okay, KNH is COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah, I work in this place. Oh, so people have got scared. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, but uh, okay, I'm not. Uh, I know what we did as 
most of these health institutions they went back to call people the, to run, talk about their clinics running again mm -hmm. telling encouraging people to come to their hypertensive clinics to come to their diabetic clinics mm -hmm. come for their services again mm -hmm. yes and that thing went like it didn't go like instant like that it mm -hmm. took some time for them now to accept now you can and when they come again they are also quite scared mm -hmm. they're like are you sure i'm um, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm what happened. I'm still skeptical. Uh, yes, about, yeah. about the care that they get and mm -hmm. they contract again the, the COVID. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, the next question is then, uh, is around the learnings and, and is uh, from the hospital perspective and even now even looking at the community health. Yeah. Did we learn from COVID? It came as a shock, but have we learned from it? And uh, if next week something like COVID happened again, are we even prepared? If I say that mm -hmm. COVID affected everybody, yeah, the medical people, the public, mm -hmm. uh, I mean politicians, everybody was affected. Everybody was affected, direct or indirect. Mm. Now, people have learned. If you talk about learning, this learning that has happened now, mm -hmm. that's why people now know how to maybe to handle proper, how to take care of themselves, mm -hmm. what to do, what not to do. Look about the restrictions. Look about. At least people have learned. They wash hands, you know. Even the common conditions now, I think because of washing hands, keeping safe, I mean, it has helped. Mm -hmm. So you look at the percentages went down. Mm -hmm. This common condition that may because we keep our hands dirty, mm -hmm. but not because of COVID, the people have learned. Yeah. So mm -hmm. people have learned, but uh, it's a continuous process. Mm -hmm. People need to learn more and, yeah. This learning, mm -hmm. yeah. From the from the medical hospital perspective, yeah. Are we better prepared to handle like a, a future pandemic in terms of emergency response, uh, and especially also even looking for uh, groups like people living with NCDs? Are we even ready for them? From my understanding, much has happened. Mm. Uh, many changes have happened in I think in most of these health facilities and. Mm -hmm. uh, from the ministries and all those things, eh? there's, there's good preparation for the same. Mm -hmm. As much as we are not yet mm -hmm. there, but at least people are getting information. People, mm -hmm. there's much to do with protocols, there's mm -hmm. much to do with supplies, there's much to do with access. So, mm -hmm. and you see, when you talk about it, even non communicable, it means now people have, various groups have picked up the, the mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah, the challenge, yeah. And every group is trying to see what we do with our patients, what we do with hypertensive, what do you do with people who are suffering like this condition, what, mm -hmm. like, same way like the earlier speakers, what they have just said. Mm -hmm. So people are picking up this and trying to see, like, uh, uh, for example, talk about people with hearing impairments, how do you mm -hmm. follow up the protocols, mm -hmm. uh, people with these conditions, how do you, people with the visual mm -hmm. defects, how do you talk about, you know, signage, mm -hmm. all those things up. Yeah. So uh, what you're saying is, uh, now we are the progress is continuing yes yeah, uh, continuous is more continuing. protocols are being set in place yes. more uh, preparedness is being set in place mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to ensure that next time we are not caught red yeah red yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so uh, final question then what advice and lessons uh, can you give to communities regarding uh, to how they you know take care of themselves and uh, post covid 19 era and uh, especially even for people living in their cities. You see, when, when, when we talk about COVID, there's a relationship with non-communicable diseases. Mm -hmm. COVID brought about non-communicable mm -hmm. diseases. There's a link. Mm -hmm. Now, COVID made worse NC, non mm -hmm. NCDs mm -hmm. by virtue of management and all those things. Eh? Mm -hmm. It wasn't, some wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, what the public needs to know is about non-communicable diseases. These are conditions that can be managed. Mm -hmm. con some conditions are very preventable. Mm -hmm. And there's management and there's follow-up. Mm -hmm. uh, we know it's long-term uh, treatment. The moment you, you see diagnosis of diabetes, the moment they say diagnosis of hypertension, the moment you learn how to manage is a moment there will be no problem with you. Mm -hmm. that you don't learn in complications. Mm -hmm. So there's about what the ministry is doing, what the institutions are doing, and what the public are doing. When you harmonize this, you find the case cheaper. Mm -hmm. For example, somebody is hypertensive today, 
you get access to medications you get to access to reviews of mm -hmm. medical follow up mm -hmm. you'll never land in problems mm -hmm. if you are in diabetics again if you have any kidney issue if you are mental the moment you the follow up is okay mm -hmm. no problem with you mm -hmm. so it covers everybody mm -hmm. now and the other aspect when you talk about non communicable disease about the caregivers mm -hmm. the caregivers to me they are very important very important mm -hmm. talk about that the support system many people talk about the sup support system mm -hmm. who is this that can go and get your medications mm -hmm. who is this that can get you you go for review in a hospital mm -hmm. for your cancer mm -hmm. who is this will follow up your medication who is this that will make sure you have taken your medications for the mental health issue you have epilepsy who is this can make sure you access medications mm -hmm. what is the cost of all these things because you look at the issues about also the cost mm -hmm. let me tell you the when covid came in people lost jobs mm -hmm. people have undergoing a lot of restrictions everybody's not aware of what to do mm -hmm. now this guy movement is restricted the clinics you cannot get from Kerugoya or whatever to come mm -hmm. for your review you miss yeah, it okay. you miss it when you miss it you not get that expert in this hostel who is there mm -hmm. that means what you will worsen mm -hmm. now that is the government's way to look at how do we harmonize all these things so that people can access medication at affordable price mm -hmm. people can access the reviews people can get access uh, experts experts i mean you need people good in the what they do Mm -hmm. you, ca you look about now the, 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 the cost, if you talk about the treatment of cancer in this country for example and look about even most people are stuck when it comes to now the, the investigations. Mm -hmm. Just to make a diagnosis of CA of cancer, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And how, are you going to get the experts? Are you going to get these experts for this? Mm -hmm. Not everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I remember last time I told you how many urologists are in this country is a countable number. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge population. Mm -hmm. uh, millions. Uh, yes, millions. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the challenge we have. But you see, we can have go, I mean, we can bring everybody on board and they look about how to make it simpler for people. Mm -hmm. And it will be more preventive which is better than when you were now curative. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think also uh, the message and prevention has to that be one. even mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Primary health care. Yeah. And to treat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So with that, uh, thank you very much for coming on board. I thank think you. you share very critical insights that uh, will help the ones yeah. who are listening, but also even at a system level to better prepare us for the next Yes, year. that's okay. And uh, thank you very much for yeah. agreeing to come on board. Thank you very much for having me. I'm proud of the champions here. Mm -hmm. When they talk about the conditions they go through, mm -hmm. it's a nice thing mm -hmm. because they are helping many people out there. Yeah. I know the, the, it's called the host smells, you know, when they say themselves, mm -hmm. but they go through, mm -hmm. that gives a lot of information and yeah. a lot of impact the to many people. experiences. Yes, mm -hmm. and they are champions. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank They're you very much. much. Champions. Thank you. Ah, yeah, thank you. Now that was incredible. Thank you for listening in. Share this with your networks and follow us on all social media at Storylink and at NCD Champions. See you on the next one.